Do not know how great you can hear me, but we are out here today at PB Pier, Crystal Pier, right? It's called yeah. Crystal Pier and PB. And uh, I've actually never. All right, as you can tell, the audio right here isn't very good. It was really windy that day. I'm just gonna do a voiceover here. What happened was we came to PB Pier. We had some sabiki rigs, and we were trying to get on some mackerel here. So right here we have. Uh, the sabiki rig and it has five hooks on it and we're using squid to try to get these mackerel on um, sabiki rig so that's the whole game plan that's what we're doing in this video um, we just have a two ounce leader on that sabiki rig or a two ounce weight I have a two ounce weight on sabiki rig on my big pole I'm just running a Carolina rig on that in case I catch some mackerel or something like that and I want to throw it out for some big halibut or something so that's why I got the big pole and I'm out here with my girlfriend today we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get it in hope you guys enjoy the video all right guys so I already have this jig para tied on so I'm just gonna chunk it around a few times see what happens I've never fished off of a big pier like this with a jig para it's always been like squid or something that I've always used on piers I thought it already came with one. Uh. Alright guys, so this is how the Sabiki rig works. You have a swivel that runs up here. They usually give you a swivel. And uh, you can put the weight on the swivel, but this one doesn't have a snap swivel on it. So I just tied the line to it. And um, on the bottom, it has uh, five hooks on it. As you guys can see right there. Five hooks for bait. And then at the very bottom is a piece of line right here. I'm just going to tie the weight on the bottom. So you'll have your weight on the bottom and your bait will be up here free flowing right here. And I just have a two ounce. I just have a two ounce like torpedo type weight for uh, right here. The water is a little rough. I can't really go any heavier on this pole. I have my big pole right here in case I want to throw a mackerel out or something get a giant but i'm just gonna hook this up right here and uh tie this baby on all right guys so i have some squid right here a little pack of squid i picked up at walmart and i'm just basically cutting strips little strips and then i'll put a little strip of squid on the hook you don't really want a very big piece just basically a small little piece kind of like that will work perfect. I just pre-cut some little small pieces. Just do little strips. I don't think it really matters, but most people like to cut a little strip. Since we're using sabiki rigs, we're gonna need quite a few little strips. But I honestly won't even use um, all the hooks. I just put like three or four pieces. There's like three pieces. There's like five hooks So I just cut that guy up into a bunch of little pieces Right there. We're just gonna use all that for bait. You need some squid, babe? You want it on every hook or just like two or three? Let's see if you get one on the little fly line. She's got the right pole. A four ounce weight. Woohoo! That's where the big one's at, huh? I'm just gonna go straight down under. See if there's any Max hanging out. Oh shit, whose line is that? 
All right, I'm on the bottom. Let's wait for a bite, I guess. Got him. Babe. Oh. Yes, a little mackerel. Bait. Bait. Yes, sir. Babe. They're out deeper. Perfect bait size. Look at that. First fish on a sabiki rig, guys. First fish ever. He ain't going nowhere. All right, guys. So this pole's already rigged up. We have a Carolina rig, small Carolina rig. And uh, just taking this Mac right here. Run it straight through his lip like that. I'm going way over here with it. See what happens, guys. You're not around. Okay. All right, guys. Just got another one. Crushed it that time. I lost my other one that I wanted to use for bait. Look at that, that's perfect bait size. And still. You grab the pliers? I don't even need a rack. I'll just shake them right off. Just shake them right off right here. Oops. There he goes. <laughs> Rig's putting in work. What? I need him to get my other pole rig up. I'm just gonna release this guy right over here like that. Yeah. That was so quick. You literally just pulled one up. Huh? What the hell? This fish is like, this is bullshit. Am I going home or not, dude? Right? I think it came off. Oh, what? Look. Tiny. That's a little yellow tail. Oh, no, it's not. Is that a baby yellow tail? No way, dude. <gasps> that is not a baby yellow tail. It can't be. It's gotta be a mackerel. No, it's not a mackerel. Take a picture. See what kind of species it is. Dude, it looks just like a little yellow tail, doesn't it? Throw him on us, bait. Throw him on us, bait. That's probably the little ones that have been hitting it, huh? Doesn't it look like a baby yellow tip? Oh, nice, babe. Babe on the mackerels. On the mac attack. Eee. <laughs> babe. Babe. Put this one on this one on instead throw them back this is a better one more better bait size it's like they're moving around on different 
It's like they're moving around in different parts of the pier, huh? There you go, babe. He's alive, too. I would just go, like, out over there where it's oh, deeper. Forward. Yeah, throw it, like, out. This is freaking fun, guys. If you guys haven't done this, it's pretty fun. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> he wanted that big old piece of squid on there. These are all perfect bait size. Wee. <laughs> I'm going big squid on this. My macro came off. So I'm gonna launch this guy out way out here. Guys, I just hooked into something way out there on the fall. Bad. A lot funner. Rolling them in from out far. Ah, that's a bigger mackerel. That's a big one. Dude, I chunked it way over there. He just crushed it. Here. Really? Yeah. Oh, dang. Oh, what? That's crazy. I know it said at nighttime it was a private pier. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, we are, it's, I got, it's tangled right here, I got it, or, it's, so as you guys just saw, we just got kicked off the pier right now. He said we could stay a little bit longer, but we're probably gonna head to Mission Bay, see if the bite's good, see if we can't get anything, and then if not, we're gonna head out, but I'll try to get some footage if we catch like a big stingray or something, because we are fishing for uh, stingrays and stuff, so. Um, anyway, guys, we're wrapping it up. I hope you guys enjoy these pier fishing videos. Like I said before, let me know if you enjoy it. If you do, drop a comment. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. We are out of here until next time. You guys have a great day.